Hello, Breach speaking. Uh, hello. Um, I wanted to ask you, um, what you thought about GEC in comparison with other electrical shares? Uh, GEC very sound at the moment, uh, looking very stable. They've been stable over the last few weeks, and uh, I don't see the situation changing. The only possible uh, caution I would um, urge is if, if there were any threat of nationalisation on the horizon. Yes. Um, and why do you think they've got such um, large cash reserves? Well, basically, it's a question of the fact that they sell their assets and uh, use them to acquire more, more viable assets. It's a question of purchase and repurchase. Yeah, I see. Um, well, can I buy a hundred, please? that the GLC is wasting ratepayers' money on political statements in the press. I am referring to the advertisement about Fair's Fair on February the 16th, 1982, in the Evening Standard. Do you not also believe that the law should be changed to stop this scandalous squandering of ratepayers' money as these instances are recurring? Uh, yours faithfully, Jacob Rees-Mogg. I love money. Always have done. Why? Because you need money. Um, and with money you can make more money. Um, you can't live without money. You can't do anything if you haven't got money. And if you've got money, you can buy things, buy things that you want. I could buy this Rolls Royce, something like that, lovely. Have you already done your will? Of course. Mm. I, I did a will, my first will, three years ago. And I um, did my third rewrite of it in October. Jacob, how did you get involved in all that? Um, well, five years ago, um, I inherited fifty pounds from a distant cousin, um, and my father invested this in GEC for me, and I became interested because I wanted to know what my money was doing. And then later on, I think two years later, he bought me some more shares um, for my birthday, and I've continued buying and selling shares at um, regular intervals since then. And why are you interested uh, in money like that? Um, well, I've always been interested in money. When I was four, I used to say I wanted to be a miser um, because money is just something I've always liked and wanted to have. I've always wanted to be rich. When he was four, he was interested in money and it seemed completely natural to him. I think that uh, he can handle it. He can handle his own money better than most 20-year-olds, 25-year-olds, better than many people ever come to be able to. And I don't think it is doing him any harm. Check, please. How would you like the money for this? Um, in one pound note. In one. Why do you wear a badge, love Maggie? Um, because Margaret Thatcher is the best Prime Minister this century and she's getting Britain out of the recession. She's cutting public sector borrowing requirement. She's reducing inflation. She's reducing unemployment. She is making sure that industry increases output and productivity last year went up by 10%, which is incredible because it usually only goes up by 1 or 2%, which shows what a good Prime Minister she is and how good she is for this country. And she's not going to do a U-turn. She's going to stick to her monetarist policies, and she's quite right. 
What do you think about this Hillhead by-election result? Disgraceful. Absolutely disgraceful. Absolutely disgraceful. You think Roy Jenkins shouldn't have won? No, of course he shouldn't have won. The Conservative, Jerry Malone, should have won. He was a very good candidate, a Thatcherite, and just what this country needs. Yes, but if, uh, I mean, the Labour man might have won. No, Maybe he didn't stand man. a chance. He did stand a chance. He stood no chance at all, not with the Tony Benz of this world, saying all the rubbish that he says. What do you think about the Scottish Nationalist? Well, he lost his deposit. Do, do you think that that's a good thing? Yes, I do. I don't approve of the Scottish Nationalists, um, or the Labour Party, or the Social Democrats. Or anybody but the Conservatives? Or anybody but the Conservatives, yes. Um, no, what is it? OK, will you buy 100, please, with um, Rees-Mogg? Yes. Yes, you do. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Do you want to be like your father? No, not really. I don't. No. Why? Why? Why not? Why not? Because I have ambitions of my own, and he had ambitions of his own. And if we all wanted to be the same as each other, um, if you take Darwin's theory of evolution to be correct, um, we'd still be one-celled creatures um, in the sea. And if you go further back than that, we'd be absolutely nothing. And it's because people don't do exactly the same that things happen. If um, my father had done the same as his father, he would never have become editor of the Times. He would just have been the squire of um, a place in the country. So, I mean, people have to do different things and you can't do exactly the same as um, your parents. I'm sure you haven't done the same thing as your mother or your father. No. Do you intend to get married and to have children? Um, no, I intend to stay a bachelor. Um, because I don't want to get divorced and have the wife take all my money. Um, and that seems to be happening so often nowadays that um, I won't take the risk. Yes, well, I saw in um, a newspaper, I think it was the Financial Times, that they were thinking of introducing a permanent tax oh, on the yes, banks, yes. especially for the banks, like yes. they've got on oil companies. Yes, yes. I think that, that might be a shame because the, the only effect of that tax is to diminish the bank's reserves, mm. which um, ultimately will mean it may not be as capable of lending um, as it ought to be. Mm. And of course industry uh, would suffer from the, from the lack of resources that the bank are able to put at its disposal. Yes, but in the meantime it would cut um, PSBR, which would mean the government wouldn't be taking so much from the banks and would even things yes, out slightly yes, more. Yes. How many bank accounts do you have? Um, I've got two with Barclays, two with Lloyds, one with the National Westminster, one with the Midlands, and one with Harrods, and another one with um, um, the government or something, the post office. And uh, are you a millionaire? Um, well, um, if I changed all my money into lira, I would be, but unfortunately, um, in sterling I'm not, but I hope to be soon. What do you think uh, you'll be when you be a grown-up? What kind of work will you do? Well, when I'm 30, I'd like to be the managing director of GEC, and um, hopefully by the time I'm 70, when I'm 70, um, I'd love to become prime minister. Why? Why? Because um, at that age you can have made all your millions or billions and you've got plenty of money and you'll have time to spend on politics.
What does the word happiness mean for you? That's very hard to say. Um, it's very hard to say what happiness means. I, money makes me happy. If my shares are doing well, then I'm very happy. But um, if they're not doing too well, then I'm not so happy. I don't know.